Hey, what's up, TDK Nation? Make sure that you subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and hit the notification bell. And man, don't ever forget to subscribe. subscribe. See y'all at the end of the video. Bye. Peace. Yeah, it's Isaiah back again with another breakdown. Today we are doing our first breakdown between two ranked teams. Yes, sir, we're doing our first one between two ranked teams. This will be number 16 ranked Iowa, the Hawkeyes, and the number 22 ranked USC Trojans. USC, let's start with them because they've had a tough season. They've went through three quarterbacks this season. Their first two got hurt, but their third string quarterback is doing very, very well in the system. Keelan Slovis, 3,200 yards and 28 touchdowns for a third string. I don't know who assigned him to third string, but he's very good. Uh, receiving, they're led by star receiver Michael Pittman Jr., 95 receptions, 1,222 yards, and 11 tutties. And uh, their second receiver is Amandra St. Brown, uh Brother of Equinamia St. Brown for the Packers. Uh, 879 yards and six touchdowns. And he's only a sophomore, I believe. So he has a very great future at him. Tyler Vaughns, their third receiver. 858 yards and six tutties. The USC scoring 33.2 points a game. Converting on 45.46% of their third downs. And they're getting about 462 yards a game. They are very... High powered offensively, as you can see by these stats, especially in the passing game. Rushing game isn't that strong, but it's very balanced. But their passing game is outrageous. Three receivers over 800 yards and a 3,000 yard passer as as their quarterback, who used to be a third string. Iowa, a Big Ten sleeper with some big wins, especially the, the one over uh, Minnesota at the end of the season to effectively end their playoff hopes. Uh, their Players to watch are Nate Stanley, quarterback, with twenty-seven thousand, I mean twenty-seven hundred yards and fourteen touchdowns. Tyler Good Goodson and Makai Sargent are their running backs, five ninety for Goodson, five forty-three for Sargent, four touchdowns apiece. Emir Smith Marsadi, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Iowa fans, but he is their wide receiver, six hundred seventy-six yards a game, I mean yards, yards in total, and four touchdowns. Tyrone Tracy Jr., their up uh, their next receiver, has 589 yards and three touchdowns. So as you see, uh, I was a very balanced team. They're two. They have two capable backs that both have over 500 yards. Uh, their quarterback's consistent. He's pretty good. They're not scoring well or as well with only 24 points a game. They're converting pretty well on third downs, 40 percent, and they're getting um 460 yards a game. Iowa is favored by two. I don't think they win this game, guys. I don't. USC is too high-powered offensively. Like I've said before in previous breakdowns, football, especially college football nowadays, is an offensively-based game. If you can't score the ball as much as the other team and your defense isn't ex ex exponent exponentially stellar, you're not going to win. And in this case, uh, Iowa's defense is not exponentially speller, uh, better than uh, USC's defense. So I think USC is going to win the game. Over under is 52. I pick under. I was a. They're good at keeping the game low scoring. It's going to be hard to keep this USC team from scoring, but it's also going to be hard for them to keep up with that pace. I feel like this game is going to be USC is going to have somewhere in the 20s, like maybe 24, and I will end up with like 17 or 18, like around that range. I feel like that's going to be this type of game. So that's going to be under. Um. I think I was a very good team, though, but USC is just a lot better, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Isaiah out of here. Peace.